You dog spying your swimming hole? Huh? Happy dogs. Okay, so we're getting ready to do is trying to pull up the old uh, pump line down in there. So I've cleared out as much of the gunk as I can before I get up to that poison ivy on the uh, north side. So, plan. We've got it hooked up to the crane on my skid steer. So we're going to raise it up. If we can, there's still something keeping it from coming out of the, out of the hole. So we're going to raise it up as much as we can. Hi. And then um, use the skid steer to wrap, or excuse me, the mini-X to wrap a chain around it so it doesn't fall back in. Hopefully this all goes smoothly, we'll get it out. If it breaks in the middle and falls down inside the hole, we're kind of screwed because there's not much chance of getting it out that I know of. But you'll see at the uh, top this uh, coupling which tied two pieces together. So every 10 to 20 feet or so there should be a coupling like that. And I know my crane will raise it up about that high. So the goal is to get up that high, wrap a chain around the next one, which will keep it from sliding back into the ground. Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Can I show them your hole? Yeah, so the cistern um, that we found this morning, I went ahead and just dug around in there a little bit. Um, so you can really see the, the circle part where the brick goes down in there. There's already still water in the bottom. Now, water doesn't surprise me, but um, they're just basically filled up with a bunch of junk. And we'll have to refill it, of course. Yeah, it's just killing time. So, because we got this area we're burning over here, all the stuff out there, I've already taken one load of trash out of there, and I've got several more to go, I'm sure. And this is all going to get pushed in on itself and smoothed out. Because you can see the barn, how we're up higher. I've got to bring this down to uh, below the level of the barn so the water will flow this way, right to your belly button, <laughs> and down and out this side. But today, right now, we're going to try and get this um, get this pipe out so we can get the well working and get some water out here. This, again, is not water we're going to be drinking. This is water for planting and um, things like that for right now until we get it tested and see if everything is good to go. Quite sure what we're gonna do. Got some pipe out, then it broke. We pinched it. 
It broke. It's not going back in, so that's good. And Tim is thinking, what, there's a boot or something so holding the very in place? bottom, that's scraping against the walls, and because that pipe is so deteriorated, it can't come up smoothly. Yes. That's the only thing I can do. Because it is moving, so if it was like a pipe holding it in place, we've got it up, you know, probably four feet. That pipe would have broken by now. Yeah. Oh, they don't know that yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it went down the hole. <laughs> I lost one of his chains. It fell off of that, and it went down the hole. And yes, was he wasn't very up. happy. <laughs> but guess what? It was still attached, and it came up. We've been out here for a really long time, and we're hot and tired. This is wonderful news, yay. I'm giving myself a 75% possibility that I now have poison ivy. Oh, I'm sure you do. I neglected to see that one. I know, yeah, there's poison ivy there, there's poison ivy down there. They know that, I was thinking that too. Alright, I'm going back into skits here. We got about 30 feet of pipe up, and of course it's way in the air, and it's leaning right towards me. I have this nice glass enclosure, and I'm thinking I should probably push the pipe off to the side a little bit so I can bend it like it's bent all the other times. So when I did that, it just snapped in half, and the last link fell down in the well, and the rest of it just fell that way. So. This link was 18 feet, that next one was 10, then we had some smaller pieces, there was 28, there was a 4 foot piece, there was a 1 foot piece here, and it stuck out the top, you know, maybe 2 feet, so we figured we're down at least 30 feet. Uh, we ran the camera down, we were 40 feet, so that last link was probably only a 10 foot link, like the beginning one was. But anyways, it's down at the bottom of the well now. Um, but, our goal was to get this out of the way, that uh, old pipe out of the way so we can put a well packer in and then we can get a uh, uh, line it and then maybe use a pitcher pump or some some sort of pump so we can get some water so we're not going to go down 40 feet because we're going to hit that old pipe I wouldn't be able to do anything at that point um, actually I take that back so that pipe is inch and a half mm -hmm. going down a four inch pipe we're going to slide a inch and a quarter or so pipe next to it. So if we did get the packer around the old pipe, if we can manage that, yeah. which I don't know if we can because we probably can't. Well, I thought you said there's a cavity down there. It's right? only like eight feet down. Down the oh. bottom is nothing. Oh, okay. So the problem is the pipe is sitting in the well like this now. As the packer comes down, it's going to be outside. There's no way we're going to be able to get past that. It's just going to hit the PVC and get stuck. I was thinking we could slide it faster. But well, you don't know how wide it is 30 feet down, though, right? No, it's a 6-inch casting all the way down. Oh, okay. Just for some reason, when you go down around 10 feet when we ran the camera, okay. it opened up into a void, and then it went down further. Oh, okay. So what that void was for, I have no idea. But um, yeah, all of a sudden, it just started coming right out real smooth and real good, and then... I messed it up. <laughs>